Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Welcome to today's tutorial, where I'm going to show you exactly how to create a database in Notion. Whether you're brand new to Notion or just looking to streamline the way you organize information, by the end of this video, you'll know three easy beginner-friendly ways to make a database. From scratch, with a template, or even automatically with a simple command. Let's dive right in so you can take your Notion workspace to the next level. First off, let's talk about creating a database from scratch. This is perfect if you want complete control and customization right from the start. Go up to the top left of your Notion screen and look for the drop-down menu next to your profile picture. Give it a click and you'll see an option called Database from scratch. Click on that. If you're wondering where exactly this drop-down is, it's usually right above your list of pages, kind of like the control center of your workspace. Now, creating from scratch means you're building your own database bones, adding properties, setting up tags, or choosing what type of information you want to keep track of. For example, if you're setting up a reading list, you might add properties like author, genre, or status. At this stage, don't worry if you're not sure about every property you might need. Notion makes it super easy to adjust and add things later. The idea is you're constructing something that fits you perfectly, like custom shelving for your ideas. If you prefer to start with a solid foundation, using a template is an excellent option. To do this, again go to that top left dropdown beside your profile. This time, click Browse Template. This opens up a library, almost like walking into a store filled with ready-to-use organizational setups. Simply use the search bar to look for Database Template. You'll see a selection of templates designed for all sorts of needs, whether it's tracking projects, managing contacts, or keeping tabs on content. Find one that looks like it fits what you need. Don't stress if you're unsure which template is best. You can preview and choose the one that feels right, and you're always able to customize it later. Templates are a great way to skip some setup and start organizing your information fast, especially if you're new to Notion or just want inspiration for your own layout. Now, let's look at the most automatic method, which is especially fun if you want to see Notion's built-in intelligence at work. Go to the left pane of Notion. This is where all your pages and quick actions live, and click Add New. Here's the magic trick. Instead of manually choosing a database type, you can simply give a command, like give me a sample database. Notion will immediately create an example database for use, filled with starter content. It's a bit like asking a helpful assistant to set things up while you watch. This approach is fantastic for folks who want to experiment quickly without worrying about structure. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by options, or maybe you just like the idea of having something generated for you that you can tweak and explore. Either way, the sample database gives you a hands-on example to play with, so you can get a feel for how databases work in Notion. So there you have it, three easy ways to create a database in Notion. Whether you're a hands-on builder, a fan of templates, or you love smart shortcuts, Notion makes it possible to organize your world just the way you want. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give the video a like and let me know in the comments if you have questions or if there's another Notion feature you'd like to see explained. Don't forget to subscribe for more simple, practical tutorials that help you get the most out of your digital tools. See you in the next video.